Welcome friends, welcome back to the Google Associate Cloud Engineer Certification Exam. I can provide some example multiple choice questions, MCQs, for the Google Associate Cloud Engineer Certification Exam along with their answers and explanations. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the certificate exam. So the first question is, what is the purpose of Google Cloud Identity and Access Management, IAM? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, to provide infrastructure for running containerized applications. Option B, to manage billing and payments. Option C, to control who can do what on your Google Cloud resources. Option D, to analyze data using machine learning models. Let's see the answer and right answer is, option C, to control who can do what on your Google Cloud resources. Google Cloud IAM allows administrators to manage access control by defining who, identity, has what access, role, for which resource. This ensures that only authorized users can perform certain actions on Google Cloud resources. Let's move to the second question. Which command would you use to list the active account name in the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud auth list. Option B. Cloud config list account. Option C. Cloud info. Option D. Cloud Compute Instances List. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Cloud Config List Account. The command Cloud Config List Account lists the active account name that is set up in the Cloud tool. This helps you identify which Google Cloud account is currently in use. Let's move to the third question. Which Google Cloud service is designed for building data warehouses that can scale to petabytes? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. BigQuery. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. BigQuery. BigQuery is Google's fully managed, serverless, highly scalable, and cost-effective multi-cloud data warehouse designed for business agility. It allows users to run fast SQL queries against large datasets. Let's move to the fourth question. What is the default network type created in a new Google Cloud project? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Custom Network. Option B, Auto Mode Network. Option C, Legacy Network. Option D, Standard Network. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, Auto Mode Network. When you create a new Google Cloud project, an auto mode network is created by default. This network has a predefined set of subnets in each region, which automatically handles IP address allocation and routing. Let's move to the fifth question. How would you create a new Compute Engine VM instance using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Compute Instances New My Instance. Option B. Cloud Create Compute Instances My Instance. Option C. Cloud Compute Instances Create My Instance. Option D. Cloud Create VM My Instance. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Compute Instances Create My Instance. The correct command to create a new Compute Engine VM instance is Cloud Compute Instances Create My Instance. This command specifies the action, create, and the type of resource, instance, along with the instance name, in My Instance. Let's move to the sixth question. Which feature in Google Cloud allows you to group multiple projects together for billing and access control purposes? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Spanner. Option B. Cloud Function. Option C. Organizations. Option D. Cloud Storage. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Organizations. Organizations in Google Cloud allow you to group multiple projects together for centralized billing and access control. This helps in managing permissions and budgets at a higher level, rather than individually for each project. Let's move to the seven question. What is a role in Google Cloud IAM? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. A predefined set of permissions. Option B. A virtual machine instance. Option C. A billing account. Option D. A cloud storage bucket. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. A predefined set of permissions. In Google Cloud IAM, a role is a collection of permissions. These roles can be assigned to users or groups to grant them the necessary permissions to perform specific tasks on Google Cloud resources. Let's move to the eight question. What is the primary purpose of the Google Cloud Storage Service? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To manage application deployments. Option B. To provide scalable and secure object storage. 
storage. Option C, to handle DNS resolution. Option D, to deploy machine learning models. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, to provide scalable and secure object storage. Google Cloud Storage is designed to offer scalable and secure object storage. It can store any type of data, images, videos, documents, backups, and provides high availability and durability. Let's move to the nine question. How do you set a default region for all your cloud commands? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud Config Set Compute Zone Region. Option B, Cloud Set Compute Region Region. Option C, Cloud Set Default Region Region. Option D, Cloud Config Set Compute Region Region. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option D, Cloud Config Set Compute Region Region. To set a default region for all your cloud commands, you use Cloud Config Set Compute Region Region. This ensures that all subsequent commands use this region unless specified otherwise. Let's move to the 10 questions. Question. What is the purpose of Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to provide a managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes. Option B, to manage billing and payments. Option C, to control who can do what on your Google Cloud resources. Option D, to analyze data using machine learning models. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A to provide a managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes. Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, is a managed service that allows you to run and manage containerized applications using Kubernetes. It simplifies the deployment management and scaling of containerized applications. Let's move to the 11 question. Which service should you use for a managed highly available relational database on Google Cloud? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Storage. Option B. Cloud SQL. Option C. BigQuery. Option D. Cloud Data Store. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Cloud SQL. Cloud SQL is a fully managed relational database service that makes it easy to set up, maintain, manage and administer relational databases on Google Cloud Platform. Let's move Move to the 12 question. What does VPC stand for in Google Cloud? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Virtual Private Cloud. Option B. Virtual Public Cloud. Option C. Virtual Protected Cloud. Option D. Virtual Persistent Cloud. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option of Virtual Private Cloud. VPC stands for Virtual Private Cloud. It provides a private network space within Google Cloud where you can launch your resources and connect them securely. Let's move to the 13 question. How can you view the details of a specific Google Cloud project using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud projects view project underscore ID. Option B. Cloud projects describe project underscore ID. Option C. Cloud project info project underscore ID. Option D. Cloud describe project project underscore ID. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Cloud projects describe project underscore ID. The command cloud projects describe project underscore ID provides details about the specified Google Cloud project, including its name, project ID, and associated billing information. Let's move to the 14 question. Which Google Cloud service is designed to integrate with BigQuery for large-scale data analysis? Analysis. Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Functions. Option B. Cloud Storage. Option C. Cloud Data Flow. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Data Flow. Cloud Dataflow is a fully managed service for stream and batch processing that can integrate with BigQuery for large-scale data analysis and ETL, extract transform load, operations. Let's move to the 15 question. What is the primary use case for Google Cloud PubSub? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Real-time messaging and event ingestion. Option B. Large-scale data warehousing. Option C. Machine learning model deployment. Option D. Managing cloud resources. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Real-time messaging and event ingestion. Google Cloud Pub Sub is a messaging service designed for real-time messaging and event ingestion. It allows applications to exchange messages reliably and asynchronously. Let's move to the 16 question. How do you create a new button? Bucket in Google Cloud Storage using the Cloud command line tool. Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Storage Buckets Create Bucket Underscore Name. Option B. Cloud Create Storage Bucket Bucket Underscore Name. Option C. Cloud Storage Create Bucket Bucket Underscore Name. 
Option D. Cloud Storage Buckets New Bucket Underscore Name Let's see the answer, and right answer is Option A. Cloud Storage Buckets Create Bucket Underscore Name The command Cloud Storage Buckets Create Bucket Underscore Name is used to create a new bucket in Google Cloud Storage. This command specifies the action, create, and the resource type, bucket, along with the bucket name. Let's move to the 17 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a scalable, fully managed platform for building, deploying, and managing applications? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Functions. Option B. App Engine. Option C. Compute Engine. Option D. Cloud Run. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. App Engine. Google App Engine is a fully managed platform for building, deploying, and managing applications. It automatically handles the infrastructure, allowing developers to focus on writing code. Let's move to the 18 question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Interconnect? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To deploy machine learning models. Option B, to provide secure, low latency connections between on-premises networks and Google Cloud. Option C, to manage virtual machines. Option D, to store large amounts of data. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, to provide secure, low latency connections between on-premises networks and Google Cloud. Google Cloud Interconnect provides secure low latency connections between on-premises networks and Google Cloud. This allows for high performance and reliable hybrid cloud setups. Let's move to the 19 question. Which Google Cloud service is ideal for building and deploying containerized applications in a serverless environment? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. Cloud Functions. Option C. Cloud Run. Option D. BigQuery. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Run. Cloud Run is a fully managed compute platform that automatically scales your stateless containers. It is ideal for building and deploying containerized applications in a serverless environment. Let's move to the 20 question. How do you deploy a new version of an application to App Engine using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud app deploy. Option B. Cloud app create. Option C. Cloud app update. Option D. Cloud app new. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud app deploy. The command Cloud app deploy is used to deploy a new version of an application to App Engine. This command specifies the action, deploy, and the resource type, app. Let's move to the 21 question. Which Google Cloud service is designed to manage and analyze large datasets with SQL? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. Cloud Data Store. Option C. BigQuery. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. BigQuery. BigQuery is a fully managed data warehouse that allows you to manage and analyze large datasets using SQL queries. It is highly scalable and designed for fast query performance. Let's move to the 22 question. What is the primary use case for Google Cloud Functions? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Running containerized applications. Option B. Storing unstructured data. Option C. Writing Smackle single-purpose functions that respond to cloud events. Option D. Creating virtual machines. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Writing Smackle single-purpose functions that respond to cloud events. Google Cloud Functions is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. It is ideal for writing small single-purpose functions that respond to cloud events. Let's move to the 23 question. How can you view the logs of a specific Google Cloud service using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud logs read service underscore name. Option B. Cloud logging logs list service equals service underscore name. Option C. Cloud logging read service underscore name. Option D. Cloud view log service underscore name. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud logging read service underscore name. The command cloud logging read service underscore name is used to view the logs of a specific Google Cloud service. This helps you monitor and troubleshoot the behavior of your services. Let's move to the 24 question. Which Google Cloud service provides fully managed NoSQL databases? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. BigQuery. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Cloud Data Store is a fully managed NoSQL database service provided by Google Cloud. It is designed to handle large-scale high-availability applications. 
Let's move to the 25 question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud load balancing? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to store and retrieve data. Option B, to deploy machine learning models. Option C, to distribute incoming traffic across multiple instances for high availability and reliability. Option D, to manage cloud billing. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C, to distribute incoming traffic across multiple instances for high availability and reliability. Google Cloud Load Balancing distributes incoming traffic across multiple instances ensuring high availability and reliability of your applications it helps in balancing the load and preventing any single instance from becoming a bottleneck. Let's move to the 26 question. How do you list all virtual machine instances in a specific zone using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud compute instances list zone equals zone. Option B, Cloud instances list zone equals zone. Option C, Cloud list instances zone equals zone. Option D, Cloud compute list zone equals zone. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A, Cloud compute instances list zone equals zone. The command Cloud compute instances list zone Zone equals zone lists all virtual machine instances in the specified zone. This command helps you manage and monitor your instances in a particular zone. Let's move to the 27 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a global scalable database solution designed for mission critical applications? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud SQL. Option B, BigQuery. Option C, Cloud Data Store. Option D, Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option D Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner is a global scalable and strongly consistent database solution designed for mission critical applications. It provides high availability and reliability across multiple regions. Let's move to the 28 question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Billing? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To manage user identities and access control. Option B. To deploy and manage containerized applications. Option C to analyze large datasets. Option D to manage and track the cost of cloud resources. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option D to manage and track the cost of cloud resources. Google Cloud Billing helps you manage and track the cost of your cloud resources. It provides detailed billing reports and cost management tools to help you stay within your budget. Let's move to the 30 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed platform for deploying and managing APIs? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud Functions. Option B, Cloud Storage. Option C, Apogee. Option D, Cloud Pub for Sub. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C, Apogee. Apogee is a fully managed platform provided by Google Cloud for deploying and managing APIs. It offers features like API analytics, security and monetization. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.